guys, it's Sonia. So I'm trying the 5-2 diet again. <laughs> it has been the only thing that's worked for me um, over the last couple years, but I kind of let it go this summer. You know how summer is. We went on vacation. We were in North Carolina for two weeks and um, that kind of started and it was right when school got out at June and that kind of started my downward spiral, spiral, I can't talk, <laughs> um, to a bad summer of a lot of bad choices with food and alcohol. So I probably right now weigh the most I've weighed in the last couple of years just because I just totally let it go this summer. I thought I'm just going to do whatever I want and that was a bad idea. I guess when you are over 40, I'm 44 now, I can't, the things that I used to do when I was younger just don't work anymore and this is one of the few things that does work if you do it. It doesn't just work if you <laughs> just talk about it or dream about it and Google about it. You have to actually do it. Believe it or not, diets only work if you do them. <laughs> so that's what I'm finding out. You must do it. So I am going to do it again. So I'm going to keep you guys posted. Um, I weighed myself last Wednesday. So I started last Monday. So this will be my second fast fasting week, which is it's Monday today. I'm going to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. And I'll back up. The fast diet is two days a week. You have 500 calories. And then the rest of the week, you kind of eat responsibly. However, you know, you have to kind of figure out for yourself what, you know, what's too much and what's, you know, not enough or, you know, everybody's different. So I typically like to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays to recover from the damage I did over the weekend and Thursdays for the damage I'm going to do, which I'm not going to do so much now. But, um, in your 500 calories, I would keep it low carb, but you know, I try to keep it around 500. I can't make myself crazy by counting them out and knowing because that just makes me nuts. And that makes me, I don't know. I don't like anyone telling me what to do. Not even myself. <laughs> if you're like that, it's really hard. You just, you are your own worst enemy and it's terrible because I love food and I love alcohol and I don't like it. If someone, including myself is telling me I can't have it. So <sighs> it's a battle. It's such a battle. Weight loss. It's just sucks flat out sucks. The older you get, the suckier it is. <laughs> it's just the fact of life. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you what I weigh. I had to buy all new clothes. Thank God I work for JCPenney so I can get good discounts and get some pants that are bigger. I'm only 5'4", so it may not seem like a lot of weight, but when you're short and you're 5'4", and you're top heavy, a lot, you know, 10 pounds is a lot. So right now I am 154.6 on the digital scale. Shh. It's terrible. And, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of weight for me it is, though, because none of my pants fit. I was like a size 6, 8 when I first did this, and now I'm back up to a 10, 12, which, gee, it's just like, I'm just not comfortable. I know it's not a lot of weight, but everything just kind of sits here in the middle when you're sitting in the car. You can feel it's just gross and things roll down the fat rolls, and it's just depressing. And your legs rub together, which mine kind of always have, but that kind of went away when I first lost a lot of weight on this, so... Here we go again. So I'm going to try to keep you maybe weekly updates. I can't promise anything because life is crazy. And my son, I haven't been around much because my son has a kidney disorder and that's kicked back up again. And we've been battling that all summer and I work two jobs. But now that school started, I meant more of a schedule where I can't just stay up late and have a couple glasses of wine every night like I was doing this summer, like every night. And I'll show you what my biggest downfall would is like sabotaged my whole 5-2 diet. the Boda box from Costco. This is my best friend and my worst enemy. They should have never came out with this because this little cute little box, it's um, a Malbec and it's the Boda. Um, let's see. So normally when you drink wine, you know, you usually stop yourself at a bottle because you don't want to open another bottle and it's going to sell you maybe drink a bottle. I can drink two bottles. <laughs> but this sucker has four bottles in a box. Four. So you have no way of gauging, oh, I'm going to have a glass. I'm going to have, a... you don't know if you've drank one bottle, two bottles, three bottles. I don't know. And just when you think this thing is almost empty, you just take it apart and pull the bag out and squeeze a whole nother glass in there. It's only like, it's under $17 at my Costco. I think it's 18 or 19 at Albertsons, but bad. Good deal. Pretty good wine. Bad for the diet. Saboteur. The Boda Company, you are a saboteur. 
So because this was just sitting on my counter and so easy to get a hold of, uh, I think that's why I've gained so much weight in my stomach. I think I turned my liver fatty. <laughs> so I think I might have been becoming an alcoholic. Thank goodness school started because I can't do that now. <laughs> I have to have to be nice to the children. I have to be responsible. So I think I've already lost a couple pounds, but I'm not going to know till Wednesday. I'm going to weigh myself on Wednesdays, just cutting out alcohol during the week mostly during the week at least two days not yeah mostly during the week and then you know when you when you drink what I'm finding is you know it is true that it is depressant I honestly believe that because when I was drinking like every night a couple glasses every night I just got in the habit of doing it and then I would just wake up hungry and kind of crabby and you're always looking for carbs and now that I've cut I mean it's only been like two weeks that I've kind of cut it out during the week I wake up so much better I can already tell I'm kind of slimming down a little bit and I'm not like as crabby and stuff so alcohol fun but not good for you <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to I always say this you know how life is a roller coaster you go up and down and up and down and right now I'm up weight down mentally up you know whatever so I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to keep you posted. I know a ton of people have done so well on this diet, and I think it is so good for you. And if you want more details on it, go back and look at my first video on the 5-2. Um, let me know how you're doing. I'm curious. But So right now I'm at, one. what did I say, 154.6. So we'll see. My goal is by Christmas to get to 140, because I look pretty good at 140, because I'm pretty evenly distributed sometimes, but not when I drink four bottles every other day <laughs> I don't know I don't know I couldn't even tell you how many both boxes I bought I should buy stock in the company really but there's it's really good and it's a good deal anyway I got see I'm obsessed with the Boda box it's terrible don't drink the Boda box stick to wine bottles if you can afford it but I'm cheap so anyway doing the 5-2 again try to keep you posted what works best for me is if I don't eat anything until like three or four o'clock I'll have like be drinking coffee or green tea is really helpful but that's what works best for me if I have breakfast first thing in the morning I'm starving by in the next couple hours it must just kickstart my metabolism or something so I wait and I try to try to eat my 500 calories all at once and Mondays are great because I work at school in the morning and come home today I made like a soup and stuff to have later and didn't touch it yet and I'm gonna eat like right before I go to work at five and then I, you know I get off at nine so if I can just get to bed when I get home and, and not get into the wine, which I'm not on my fast days for sure. hundred percent don't because then you'll lose your whole sense of, you won't know how many glasses you drink or when you do, it does inhibit your, yeah, uh, what's that called? Your inhibit something. I can't think cause I'm getting nervous talking to you guys sometimes. Um, and looking at the stupid blue light and not myself is very hard. If you make videos, try not to look at yourself, but you can kind of see yourself. It's annoying. Anyway, you can tell that I'm hyper today because I've had a lot of caffeine and no food. That's <laughs> why so I'm like, woo, all over the place. But it's going to hit me hard. Anyway, come home. Don't drink alcohol on your fast days. That's probably the worst thing you could do because then you're, you, you'll you get into food and you, you you know how they say that. You'll get into things you won't, you shouldn't get into food-wise. I don't know about your personal life. You can do whatever you want. Um, so if you want to get updates from me, let me know if you guys are doing it. I know a lot of people, I've got a lot of great responses from people that they're, they're doing it and they really like it. It's the only thing that's worked for me. I've done Adkins, low carb, all that. So I'll try to keep you posted on my weight loss. This will, you guys help me to be accountable too. If I say I'm going to try to do this once a week, then I know I can't go. I'm not going to do the diet. I don't feel like it. No, I need to do it. I can't fit into anything. It's just stupid right now. <clears throat> it just makes me mad. It's like, oh, I have nice clothes. Can't wear them. Because my butt's too big. And I knew I was in trouble when I was walking and my butt was still going. <laughs> that happened in the wild where it's like, oh, something's still moving, but I'm not. But it's, yeah, it's just yuck. So, and I got to start working out again. I kind of let that go this summer too. That's a big deal. And I love my pio because I, you know, because I had disc replacement, I can't do the jumping around. Love the pio, love the treadmill. The, again, it works. You just have to do it. You can't talk about it. You got to do it. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you guys are um, doing great on your 5-2. I'll be back. Maybe if I lose a lot of weight this first week, maybe I'll be back Wednesday to tell you about it. And I'll be having like, woohoo. If you don't see me, that means I'm doing real crappy. So hopefully you're going to see me a lot because I'll keep up on too. Keep up on it. So, okay, all you 5 tours, let's do it. Let's get skinny by Christmas. I said this last year. We're going to do it this year. Okay. So keep going if you're on it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.